We are without a leader. The dead King of Scotland has no heir. War creeps in from the south, what Edward Longshanks, the avaricious King of England, has returned from successful campaigns in Wales and France. As Longshanks turns his attention to Scotland, the shadow of fear settles across the Highlands. The English have thousands of Welsh longbowmen, hundreds of knights on horseback, and dozens of siege weapons. We Scottish have a rabble of untrained soldiers who do not even know how to march in a straight line. We must act soon. If we're to have any chance of resistance, we need to forge an army by any means necessary. The English are terrorizing all of Scotland, and it's time for us to fight back. But if we are to defeat them, every one of us will need to learn how to march and fight. Follow the path to the blue flag. First, click the soldier. Good. Now right-click near the blue flag. Good. Now move to the next flag. Click the soldier, then right-click near the flag. Excellent. Now to move to the next flag, you must walk through the black area. Moving into the black area reveals more of the map. The black area represents unexplored territory. Bit That's all there is to it. Tall. Now go to the next flag, where you will meet some allied soldiers. Bid fear, tall. bid fear, Erla, tall. Tall. bid fear. Tall. To move all your soldiers at once, tall. click near the units and drag around them. Then right click to move them. Try moving your soldiers to the next flag. Did all your units make it to the flag? The road ahead is guarded by an English outpost. Moving the mouse. Top of the screen. Then click the red outpost. Get tall. Get fear. Tall. Right click the outpost to attack it. Get it. Oh. Bid fear. The outpost is destroyed. Tall. That should slow the English raids. Bid fear. Tall. Keep following the path to the village. Home Tall. sweet home. Fear. But wait. The English are angry that you destroyed their outpost. They're coming to attack their village. Don't panic. Just click your soldiers and right click the red English soldiers to attack. Defeat the enemy soldiers and you'll have won your first battle. Good job. Now you know how to fight back against the English army. Scotland has soldiers now, if only a few. But if we are to turn back the greed of Edward Longshanks, we'll need many more recruits and much more gold in our coffers. These ancient stones and oaks around us will soon be drenched with the blood of clansmen. An army marches on its stomach, or so the old saying goes. My clansmen have been farming and tending sheep for hundreds of years, but gathering enough food to feed an army is a different matter entirely. Without a strong economy, the meager forces that we have cobbled together will collapse again. To support the Scottish army, 
you will need to build up your stockpile of resources. To win, gather 50 food, 50 wood and 50 gold. The villager will continue working for you, carrying the food to the town centre. The amount of food you have is shown in the upper left corner of the screen. In addition to your food stockpile, you can see your current wood, gold and stone stockpiles. The more villagers you have, the faster you can gather resources. Assign your new villagers to gather food. Good. You found some gold. Kid, eat fear. Air love. Kia, good job. Eat fear. You now have enough wood. Forgera, eat Great. fear. You now have fifty food. To win, also gather fifty Air wood love. and fifty eat gold. Fear. To gather wood. Click a villager, then right-click a tree. If you haven't found any gold yet, search in the unexplored territory. Excellent. You now have enough gold. You're well on your way to making a city. Edward Longshanks, for all its disrepute, has shown his military tactics in Wales, England and France to be very effective, if not cruel and ruthless. He is indeed an enemy to be feared. The English sacked the town of Berwick-upon-Tweed. With that, I could call it a battle, but it was truly more of a massacre. Unless we organize our army, there will be more massacres to follow. I pray that we can be ready when Longshanks comes.